What I want to talk about this week is flow. And I want to talk about the, um, you know, one of the original ideas that's behind the whole vision quest that became the vision quest even before I was planning a vision quest. And then one practical idea for you to bring a greater sense of flow into your life. So the, the, the grander idea is this, you know, the retreats used to be called surf life. The philosophy was, is surf life. And it arose from this question that I asked myself at a time when, um, this was before I started running retreats, but leading right up to the retreats, um, feeling stuck in my life, unfulfilled, knowing I had more potential, knowing I wanted more, more adventure in my life. And, um, and so I asked myself this question, you know, once I, I thought about, okay, what do I love doing? What's the feeling that I love? And it was um, the feeling of surfing is one of my favorite feelings in life. It's just like a, a primal connection and some, it's this, this sensation of when, you're, when you match a wave and it picks you up and carries you and you get to your feet. This, there's some primal sensation there that, um, you know, it's hard to describe. You guys have, uh, I think each of you have experienced it. Most of you have experienced it at some point and uh, it just feels amazing. And it puts a smile on your face and makes you feel like a kid again, it makes you feel powerful. Um, so I asked myself this question. How can I experience the same kind of thrill and spontaneity and joy and playfulness that I do while I'm riding a wave? How can I experience that in my daily life while I'm living, while I'm working in my relationships? And from that kind of came this uh, surf life philosophy of how do we align with the waves of life where it feels like we are placing ourselves in the sweet spot where a wave is forming and we place ourselves in the right place and we put the effort in and we paddle and our timing is right and that wave picks us up and carries us in whatever it is. It could be um, your health, your relationship, your work, um, finances and this, <laughs> this idea uh, kind of developed into the, the vision quest because I saw that the uh, what became obvious after about 30 retreats was what it takes to live a life where you're in that kind of flow is to be aligned with your inspiration and your purpose. And that's where that the power, the power of those waves comes from. So that's the work that we do on the vision quest is discovering what is that purpose? What is what is your purpose? Where does your inspiration come from? How do you tap into that inspiration? moment by moment and so I'm sure you guys have all got and gotten an experience of this especially since doing the vision quest process and um, kind of feeling those ways of excitement and inspiration and ideas inspired ideas and you act on them and you see what happens and like all waves they carry you for a while and then they stop <laughs> and then you got to paddle back out and identify maybe you want to sit in a different place or what's this next kind of wave that you want to have do you want a more challenging wave are you ready to step up now one of the so that's the the, the bigger idea just a little background so then it comes down to in our day-to-day -day life how do we stay aligned with those waves how do we ride those waves um, how do we position ourselves for those waves and I want to give you one bit of um, practical advice and uh, to help you kind of refine that practice of putting yourself in the sweet spot to ride life's waves, those inspiring waves. So, you know in the mornings you do your big rocks daily planning. So you basically have a to-do list and there are two, one or two key mission critical things that you want to accomplish that day towards your most important dream or some um, important role in your life. Then you have your, you know, those two tasks, and then you have a bunch of other tasks that you probably have laid out for the day. Um, and sometimes, when you got your to-do list there, you are not feeling inspired, and it could be for any reason. You're low energy, or um, you know, could be anything. Here's what I want you to do: 
when you have that to-do list in front of you. Put it to the side. You can keep it visible, but just put it to the side and start to breathe <laughs> and slow everything down and make space in your mind. Make space in your body with your breathing and relax and tune in. You keep that breath going. And then I want you to look at your to-do list and feel which of the things on there is inspiring you in that moment, even if it's not one of your big mission critical ones. I want you to feel where the inspiration is guiding you. You could even write down something else that's not on the list, something, that's, that's something else that's important to you, or you're just getting some inspired idea about, some inspired action about. And by the way, this, um, this idea uh, is something that I have experimented a lot with, and I also heard it in an Abraham, um, in one of their seminar recording things. Um, but I'm pretty sure I was practicing this before they said it. There's a, there's, you know when you, you hear a teaching and you're like, I've been doing that, it's great to get the confirmation. So I think that's what that was. <clears throat> So there will be one thing on there or one thing you come up with that you're like, you know what, when I think about that, that, that feels exciting to do. I'm getting some clarity about that. I'm feeling some energy pushing me in that direction. And that's what I want you to do. So then you can, you can underline that thing or circle it or write it, write it and circle it and focus on that thing and put a time limit that you're going to spend on that. So it could be 10 minutes or it could be an hour. And I want you to Focus on that and feel that inspiration and then act. Do the thing and as best you can, complete it. Take it to the next level. That's it. It's great to experiment with that and that's giving you an uh, in the moment, day to day uh, practice of how to feel and follow those waves of inspiration and see what happens. All right, lots of love to everyone. Talk soon.